fun thing you can do with static electricity at home on a snow day. So I'm going to rub this on someone's hair and then that will charge up the static electricity. Okay. So dad? You need some hair? I'm going to get a lot. You got a lot. I think it's charged. Okay. Okay, now what's next? Yeah, okay. Not wearing socks, right? No, I don't want to slip and fall. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I'm taller now. You are. I like that type. Oh, yeah. Right up there. And there's also other balloons, too. Because we had fun, right? Yeah. Not me, because I didn't like blowing up the balloons. It hurt my cheeks a lot. Here's something else you can do for fun with electric electrostatics. You take a stream of water, as thin as possible without without breaking up into drops. You don't want drops. Nice thin stream of water that doesn't break into drops until until down here. Up up here we want a nice thin stream. Okay, this is the material we'll need. A rubber rod and some rubber fur. So how you do it to make this actually work, you need to rub the rubber rubber thing the rubber Wand, wand or rod doesn't doesn't matter what you call okay. it. But what you do, you do it like this. You just do that, twist it, do that, twist it like that. Like rub it into the rabbit fur and twist it at the same time. Do that about three or four times, and then you'll be all ready to go. So what you do is you put it as close to the water as possible, but not touching it like that. Look, do you see it's bending? Hopefully you do, but it's not. And if you get it wet like this. It won't work. Okay. So if you don't have a rubber rod and some rabbit fur, you can use a pocket comb. Yep. And can. some animal fur of a different sort. Or your hair. Yeah, you can use That's your hair too. That's animal fur. Let me. Ah, sorry. You pulled my hair. Oh, I'm sorry, but now we've got charge on the comb. We've charged up the comb. And I'm bending water with my pocket comb. Oh. That does very well. Not getting it touching. Yeah. 